Hello everyone. Today let's check one of the biggest myths or concerns about preprint culture. A biggest difference between journal articles and preprints is that while journal articles are peer reviewed for the data as well as experiments and everything uh, by the peers and groups or group leaders, uh, preprints are not either by the peers or the servers. So there is no way that when you publish a preprint, uh, these, these uh, preprints are peer reviewed. Hence, how reliable are these preprints is the biggest question. Before going any further, let's have a quick look at the history of peer reviewing. Now, if you think about the Einstein's papers on general theory of relativity or the famous paper on the Watson and Crick uh, structure of the DNA, all these are actually not peer reviewed initially. In fact, scholarly and scientific communication in the earlier times uh, only happened by discussion between the scientists or philosophers, for example, at the Royal Society in the London. Now, this doesn't have any kind of peer review system or referee system at that time. The peer review system as we know it today only was started uh, in 1970s by the high impact and famous journals that we know now. It is quite important to understand that peer reviewing is not a stamp of scientific authenticity. Now, peer reviewing process as such uh, can be biased based on ethnic or uh, gender backgrounds. Uh, also, the peer reviewing process from the current journals can take anywhere from 1 to 12 months. Now, this process can include the responses from the reviewers, editorial responses back and forth, etc., so on and so forth. By preprinting, we are going to actually bypass all this time and save uh, the time either for early stage career researchers or funding process, etc. Quite funnily, as well as interestingly, a uh, few recent reports that are peer reviewed and published in journals report that the difference between uh, the quality of a preprint and its final version as a peer reviewed article is not so much different. Having said that, receiving constructive feedback from other colleagues or scientists can definitely improve the quality of the scientific data and increase its impact. At the end, we do not want to be biased by our ideas as a result, right? So what is it that we can do as scientists, readers, early career researchers, as well as institutions do about preprinting? First of all, let's take an action. Let's read more preprints, post reviews about them on using social media or various platforms that are currently available online. We can also give uh, proactively feedback to the authors directly or use different kind of platforms that have been mentioned here. Nowadays, there are many online platforms as well as communities which give us an opportunity either to read preprints or post about them or even give directly feedback. There are also uh, preprint review aggregators which kind of combine all these inputs and then put it in one place. Thank you all for listening to this module. I hope that you understand a little bit more about preprints. Feel free to check the other modules within the same group as well as other SF bio videos. Also share the videos with your universities as well as institutes. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Bye. -bye.